Of course, I'm sure some people will say, But Graham, the Federal Reserve is going to lower interest rates, and by the time the two years comes up, you could just refinance and save the extra money. And sure, okay, it's likely to be true, but number one, it's not guaranteed. Two, there's a chance that interest rates in the future could be identical to where they are today. And number three is, I'm about to show you, refinancing could be very expensive. CNN recently did a fantastic breakdown in the average refinancing costs, and they found that it ranges between between 2 to 6% of the entire loan balance. That means with a $200,000 mortgage on a starter home, you're looking between five to $12,000 out of pocket just to lower your interest rate, completely wiping out the tax credit that you received. Now, to me, as someone who's worked in real estate full time for the last 16 years, I think this is only going to benefit people who are going to buy a home anyway, regardless of market conditions. And I don't see this as a way of driving viable demand during a time that we already have record low inventory. But we'll continue because this goes on to the next part.